good. As I said, I'll start out with just a brief recap. So this is an update on the investigation of missing six-year-old L. Reagan. Uh, as of this time, authorities have been unable to locate L. Uh, we continue to ask for the public's assistance in sharing any information that they have concerning the disappearance of L. Reagan or her current whereabouts. Uh, officers and agents have followed up on hundreds of leads and case information that have developed in the past three days, and this was first reported on July 2nd at about noon. A recap of that original call is that the Northfield Police Department was sent to a uh, residence at 604 Maple Brook Court in Northfield uh, by a call from an extended family member. Police discovered an apparent suicide of the 39-year-old resident that was ID'd as Lisa Wade. Uh, we were unable to locate Wade's six-year-old daughter, L. Reagan, uh, at that time. Police searched the house and surrounding area with officers, canine teams, drones, and a helicopter. We did not locate L or any other evidence outside of the home. The initial investigation revealed that Wade may have been involved in the disappearance of her six-year-old daughter before taking her own life. Since that time, the investigation has continued and it has revealed the following information. L was last seen on Sunday, June 19th. On June 21st at about noon, Lisa Wade drove from her home in Northfield to Mississippi River Park in Stearns County, just outside of Rice, Minnesota. We learned this information uh, obtained through cell phone records that were obtained through a search warrant. At about 3 p.m. on that day, her cell phone shut off in the area of the park and has not turned on since that time. On June 23rd at about 9 a.m., Stearns County deputy had contact with Lisa in the park, and at that time, uh, her vehicle was parked at the park. She told the deputy she lost her phone and car keys while hiking the trails in the park, and she needed assistance. Uh, she was alone at that time, and the deputy assisted her in arranging for a tow for her vehicle to a local dealership to get a new key. During the week of June 25th, Lisa had contact with family members and seemed distraught. When officers learned of the Mississippi Park location, teams of canines, drones, dive teams, underwater search drones, along with public safety search teams, searched the park and the Mississippi River. The search revealed evidence related to this case, including the discovery of Elle's cell phone on land and Lisa's cell phone and purse containing her driver's license and vehicle keep fob in the river. The search of the park and the river is ongoing and the park in this portion of the river is closed to the public at this time by order of the Stearns County Sheriff. Investigators have been able to locate video of Lisa between June 23rd and July 2nd at various locations, but L was not seen with her at any of those times. An autopsy was performed on Lisa Wade and we are awaiting lab results for the final autopsy report. The BCA crime lab has completed processing of the home and lab analysis is pending on any items of evidence that we've recovered, uh, as well as additional analysis of her vehicle. Uh, lab analysis of the items that were covered in the park is also pending. This is an open and active investigation. We will have updates and new information as it's discovered and we'll be sure to update you folks.